up, guys? NJ Play Clip. Finally got another day, man. It looks like it's gonna start getting nicer out. I'm kind of stoked. Can't wait. But yeah, it looks like it's finally gonna start getting nice out, and uh, finally gonna start getting some more videos out for you guys. I'm gonna be out on the bike a lot. I'm probably gonna do some bicycle vlogs too, because I start riding bicycles a lot too once it starts getting nicer. Right now it's about 45, close to 50 maybe. Tomorrow it's gonna be like 55. And uh, just out again with my buddy Justin, man. Just riding, getting some, some hours in on the bike. But yeah, I freaking love the, the warm weather, man. It's just so much fun. The topic I'm gonna talk about today is how to get yourself into motor vlogging. I see a couple other motor vloggers are doing it. I figured I'd put my, my twist on it because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty new to moto vlogging and shit. So I feel like I can help some people out with how to get better at it and stuff. Uh, first thing first thing you want to do in order to start moto vlogging is get a bike. And if you have a bike, you're good to go. I mean, it don't matter what kind of bike it is as long as it's got two wheels, a motor. Shit, they don't even need a motor. As long as it's got two wheels, it's good. And uh, once you get that bike, don't immediately just start moto vlogging. Learn how to ride that bike to the best that you can. Learn how to handle situations as best as you can. Learn how to not be nervous and stuff. Once you get all that down pat, then you can start, uh, you know, putting a camera on the side of your head or on the front of your head or wherever you want to put it. Because if you don't have those, if you don't have that, then you're probably not gonna, you know, be able to moto vlog at the same time while riding. So yeah, that, that's what I was saying. To get into moto vlogging, you wanna um, first learn how to ride a bike. Once you got that down pretty good, and you, you're not having any problems, you got all the rules of the road down and stuff. Then you wanna get into um, getting a camera once you get a camera I mean there's a lot of cameras that are out nowadays there's like uh, the GoPro the one that I use you can use the um, there's the GoPro the Drift there's like a Sony action cam After you guys get a camera, you want to start looking into getting a microphone. I have a cheap like Olympus microphone. It's like the Olympus MB15 or something like that. It was like a $20 mic off of Amazon. But uh, I got that and it hooks up right to the, to the microphone. And that goes right to your GoPro. It's not wireless, it's all wired. But it's not a bad system. I mean, it sounds pretty good in my opinion. And uh, I have no complaints. <laughs> the, the river's still frozen. I mean, the, the lake, whatever this shit is. Oh, he's too mainstream. Yo, kill that. So yeah, after you get a microphone, you gotta think of things to talk about. Me, personally, I suck at this shit. I don't ever know what to talk about, but I know I always have my helmet on, which always has my mic and my GoPro on it. So, so I always just bring it out and just try to talk something up with you guys. So, you know, good topics to talk about, either ones that are just random that fit your personality, or ones that are aimed more towards, um, other motovloggers are doing. 
kind of like what I'm doing now, how I've seen other vloggers talking about that and this, and now I'm joining in on that. So, so after you have something to talk about, then you gotta develop, you know, a fan base, a user base that's gonna, like who your audience is, like who you're gonna talk to and stuff like that. I subscribe to everybody. <laughs> nah, for real though, I do. I support everybody. I don't care if you're big or small. I sub to you because you are you.